channel. I'm coming to you today to do a hair video. I know, I know, I know I have not come and done a hair video in so long. Not that I have any, but I do have some. So if you guys have not checked out my previous hair videos, I will try to link them either down below in the description box or somewhere on the screen so that you can, you know, check those out in your free time. However, today I'm coming to talk to you guys about my faux locks. I'm coming to give you all the details about these locks just in case you're thinking about getting these locks in the future. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. First and foremost, um, I have had these locks now for about seven and a half weeks or so. And for those of you who don't really know what faux locks are, um, faux locks are a protective style, very similar to um, an individual box braid or a kinky twist or a Senegalese twist. It's just another form of hair extension. In fact, the way that they create the uh, faux lock look is they actually take braiding hair of some sort and they um, braid your hair as if you're getting individual box braids. After they're done with the whole head, um, they will come back and wrap each individual uh, section with Marley hair to create that, um, you know, that natural lock look. Um, like I said, I have the faux locks, the faux goddess locks, actually. The goddess part is just basically referring to the ends. The ends are free. They aren't um, wrapped all the way down to the very bottom like a traditional faux lock. But yeah, I got the individual goddess faux locks. Um, I see a lot of people today um, rocking the, uh, what are they call crochet locks. Um, I guess it's more of a time saver for them. Mine personally only took about six hours. This is the medium length, at least the stylus that I use, this is what she considers medium length as far as the size, the, the thickness, is, and as well as the length. The hair that she told me to use was by Shake and Go. It's the free dress in the style Cozy Deep, and this is what it looks like. I'm so sorry that I didn't uh, keep an actual package so that you guys can see this, but I will try to find one and link it somewhere on the screen right around here. But this is what the actual hair texture looks like. So it looks like this. I hope you guys can see that. This is again the Cozy Deep. Hope it's focusing. Um, this is basically just some hair I had left over from this. But this is what gives the ends that curled look. It's pre-curled hair. And again, she braided my actual hair down with the Free Tress Cozy Deep hair. Afterwards, she came back and she wrapped each individual um, section with Marley hair. And this is the Marley hair that I chose. I chose the Shake and Go Equal Cuban Twist Double Strand 16 inch. And this is what this looks like. Um, I believe I used seven packs of the Free Tress and five packs of the Marley hair. This was not a cheap hairstyle by any stretch of the imagination, um, but I felt like it was somewhat worth the investment because I plan to keep this style for a very prolonged period of time. Um, again, I'm at the seven and a half week mark, and I fully plan to keep these for probably another five weeks or so. Maybe four, four to five weeks, I'll say that. So we're talking 12 weeks, that's three months essentially. And so far, so good. Um, I'll just go ahead and say that I really, really, really love these faux locks. I did not love them in the very beginning. It took time for them to grow on me. Again, I'm the type of person who loves things to look as natural as possible. Um, Therefore, in the beginning, it was kind of very spacey looking and everything was like perfect. I just needed it to like some of my new growth to kind of catch up and grow in and all that. 
for me to really fall in love with it. And I also needed it to you know, it was very stiff in the beginning, but now it's just, it's fine, it's pliable. I can style it any way I want. Like I absolutely love these prologues. Everyone gives me compliments on them. People I know, strangers, it does not matter. Um, I just, I love them. Um, what I have been using, what products I have been using, I'm very, very, very big on no matter what protective style you have in your hair, you must keep your natural hair, and in this case, I guess my roots and my scalp moisturized, clean as possible, condition you name it. So I will tell you, I just washed these uh, blocks for the second time since having them, and these are just some of the products that I use. So to wash, I use the Shea Moisture line, the Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. After, you know, putting that in my hair and kind of massaging my scalp, um, once I was done, I rinsed that out and then I followed up with the, again, Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. Again, just letting that sit as much as I possibly could and then rinsing that out. And then once my hair was completely free of product, I then went in with my coconut oil. This is the one that I'm currently using, which I'm actually really in love with. I might need to do a product review for y'all. But I just came across this brand. Um, it's called Tropical Plantation organic virgin coconut oil, um, fresh cold pressed, unrefined, chemical free, GMO, kosher coconut oil. Okay, it's, it's like the best of the best. And I actually really, really love it. Um, this is a 24 ounce tub um, and I need every bit of this because this is really good. This is good quality coconut oil, but this is the one that I use. And I actually recently found out that this coconut oil is um, made by the same brand, Lily of the Desert. I know a lot of naturals use um, aloe vera juice or aloe vera gel, and they get the Lily of the Desert. I know I personally use them. Um, I get them from a Vitamin Shop. I did not get this from Vitamin Shop, but um, I know Lily of the Desert is a big Vitamin Shop brand that they use there. So. Um, I got this from a local health food store here. It's not a chain, it's just a random health food store, so I, I won't name it. Um, but I guess if you live in Jacksonville, um, it's called Florida Health Foods. They have two locations only, but um, this is where I got this from. Um, you guys just may want to Google it and see where you guys can get it from. Maybe try by the shop. Again, they sell Lily of the Desert items so they may carry this coconut oil but I really 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 love it and it was actually a pretty good price for this amount um but back to what I was saying I got off on a tangent back to what I was saying um after I would finish washing and conditioning my hair I would follow up and putting this in between my parts. I would literally put this in between every single part on my scalp. And then after doing that, I would follow up with, and I know I'm mixing brands, but it is what it is. This is what works for my hair. I follow up with the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream because this is just what works for me. I really, really, really love um, Cantu's Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. It, it's just what works for my hair. Um, so yeah, I followed up with this. And that's pretty much it. I will say that the water weighs your hair down a lot. And so I chose to diffuse my roots and along the length of the, uh, the actual lock to kind of get some of that water out. But um, yeah, for the most part, I just let it air dry overnight. I piled them all on top of my head because you don't want the weight of the actual lock to, you know, pull, put stress on your roots. So I just piled them on the top of my head in a big bun and I wrapped it to where it was secure. And that's how I wore it and I went to sleep like that. Um, 
what else can I tell you guys about this? Guys, if this video seems all over the place, it's because, as usual, I don't have anything written down. I'm just shooting from the hip, and that's pretty much it. Let me get into some of the products I use in between wash day. One product that I really, really love that I use to kind of keep my scalp clean and free of buildup in between wash days is the Talia with Black Earth Moisture Cleanse. I'm all out of this. Like, I literally put some water in the bottom to see if I could um, stretch it this little last little bit, but it didn't really work. But I'm all out of this. I need to re-up on this, but I love, 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 love this. I actually love this even when I have Senegalese twists, when I have box braids, when I have whatever type of braid or twist style in my hair. This always does a trick and it's no different for these locks. I love this. This will keep your scalp feeling fresh, smelling fresh, tingly, invigorated, all of the above. I love it. Also, when I'm not using my coconut oil, which I try to use most often, but when I'm not, I also would try to use this um, Apogee essential oils for hair. And again, almost out of this as well, but I really love this too. Um, you can try it if you've never used it or even heard of it, but I, I really like it. It's, it. it's light, and that's what I like. I don't really like heavy oils unless I'm using castor oil, which I also did use while having the style, and I will continue to use while I have it, especially on my edges and things of that nature. I have styled these socks in several different ways. Um, it's just really, really, it's a really good style. I love it. I will absolutely get full locks again in a heartbeat. Um, it's worth the investment. Um, it's one of those styles that looks better the older it gets. Like, it's phenomenal. Like, a few people have actually thought this was my natural locked hair. Even people with dreadlocks have thought that this is my natural locked hair. One thing I wanted to mention is that I actually did go and get my edges redone. Literally just this section across here, I got redone because my hair was growing out so much um, until I just felt like the tension was too much on my edges. And again, this is something that I do no matter if I'm getting box braids, Senegalese twists, whatever. This is a, a technique that I use to prolong a style so yeah um once my edges reach a certain length uh-uh i'm not trying to have my edges on the floor so i take that out i literally wash and deep condition my edges and then i go and get them redone so yeah that's a little trick that some of you guys might want to start implementing um if you are the type to always get um you know extensions like this. For the most part, I think that that is, is it. Again, love it, love it, love it, love it. Would absolutely do it again, no regrets. Let me know if you guys have either gotten faux logs or you're considering it, or if I did not talk about something that you really wanna know about. I will absolutely answer any questions that any of you guys have. Please leave them down below. And yeah, I hope you guys give it a shot if you're thinking about it and let me know. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.